What's going on guys? We're going to do an unboxing of the Ferris Mulch Kit. Um, it's got these staples in here. Anyway, here's the number for it. 5600582. I hope this is the right one for my... I double checked. Asked the lady double check when I was ordering it. And, um, so we'll see. I, there, I went with the mulch kit instead of a bagger. Um, I was having a big debate with myself, and I asked a lot of people on lawn site and on YouTube and stuff, um, should I get a bagger or a mulch kit? And after talking to a lot of people, um, Blades of Grass Lawn Care, you know, Lawn Care in Savannah, Georgia, um, I talked to many, many people. And I think the accelerator bagger or the mulch kit is a good option, but for me, I went with this because I don't really want to have to get off and empty the bagger all the time. I got a lot of leaves to do. And uh, let me just show you all what it comes with. So. That, that's what I that's what I decided to do. Um, the price of this, well, let me just get everything out first. Oh, it's just that. I got some, you know, nuts and bolts and a little bit of instructions. Um, look at these. Nice. Hang on just a second, let me show you. comes with these kind of blades which these do okay because my raptor mulch kit comes with one similar to this they're not they're not as hardcore as these um these are pretty thick and professional but um my raptor mulch kit came with something like these and gator blades are not an option for the raptor so i do use them on the uh yeah on the raptor but with this mulch kit so i may use these but i probably will use these um because these chop up the leaves amazing. So, you know, I may use the I may use the mulch kit during summer, but I really want it for fall and stuff like that. So that was the reason for buying it. Um, so I imagine this is going to go somewhere like this area. And, um, so, let me show y'all when I get it bolted up. Alright guys, as you can see, first little baffles here, and there's the other one. Um, and then you can see it bolts, it bolts to the, to the piece over there that blocks off the chute. So there's a piece blocking off the chute and then this baffle goes around and bolts to it. Um, these baffles, the blades like go underneath them, which is weird. And this one too. So this is actually more of a pain in the butt than I thought, but it comes with a little retainer washer. So when you put it up there, you know, it'll hold the bolt for you when you do it on the top. But this thing's pretty heavy and it's a very awkward piece to get under there. But I got it. I got it on there. Made a mess. Went ahead and scraped my deck while I was under there. Oh, and then wanna, let me show you this other piece. Um, this. It's actually look how much it like wear from cutting so many yards. But you know it goes right here under the bottom, and that's like one of your little baffles for the side discharge. So I didn't even know that. Oh, I haven't even paid attention to that on this mower, but I, so I took that off. But, um, so it looks like on the outside, it's pretty good. My mower's really dirty, been mulching a lot of leaves and all that, so. Shoot blocker, you know, is here. Took that off. And, um, there's, you can see some of the bolts on the top. Um, oh, and the price. The price of this kit was, uh, two, it was 239 um, but that was with the shipping and stuff like that. So I think it's 225 before shipping. So um, so 225 before shipping, 
It was like two thirty nine after shipping. I think the dealer was like two fifty or something, but my dealer is like an hour away and I figured once I decide to do this, I figure heck I'll just order it and you know, put it on myself and just to keep me from having to drive down there and all that. So um anyway I'm gonna try the blades that I they gave it give to me with it, let the ones that I showed y'all first, um, because those might cut the grass a little bit better, you know, finishing up on the little bit of grass I'm still gonna cut, maybe. It's just kind of an idea I have. And then, you know, I'll switch over to the gator ones when it's really, really leaves. So anyway, oh and I ordered it from uh, FerrisPartsStore.com, but I think the website's actually Parts Store, but like when you, you know, when you Google it, they have that too. So I think they have all different types of more brand parts and whatnot. But um, anyway, that's where I got it. That's the lowdown. Um, I'll let y'all know how it goes. Uh, got a trailer setup video coming as I did. Changed everything in there and built shells, and it's really nice. So anyway, hope y'all are having a good day. We'll see you later.